Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Question number three. Find the value of a from the following equation. Uh, exercise 3.5 KPK textbook page 91. Okay. Uh, here we will have to find the unknown whether it will be x, y, z, which we will have to find. Now here is a. If it will be given in the given expression like log with base 2 of 6 plus log with base 2 of 7 equal to log with base 2 of a here. Now, solution. First of all, we have three rules, uh, four rules, uh, which, which are the logarithmic properties. Uh, so here, the suitable property for to sum up here to um, collect it. Uh, uh, by using these properties, we have log with base a of m plus log with base a of n. Let's suppose m and n are the amount, whether they are uh, minimum or maximum, major or minimum amount. But uh, log common logarithm, log with base a. Here a is two, a is two. Here m is six. Here m is six. Here say uh, n is seven. Here. So if we will make as a single log, log with a. So, m will be multiple to the amount n. So, here, by using the definition, by using logarithmic property, log logarithmic property, we have. So, if we have, once again, I write it, 6 plus log with respect to 2 of 7 equal to, uh, I make it single, like, First, we will have to write it. So, apply the above formula, your logarithmic property. Log with base 2, log with base 2 will be common to all of two values. And here, m multiple n. Here, m is 6. Here, n is 7. So, 6 multiple 7 equate to log with base 2 of a. So, by comparing log with base 2, compare on both sides, they will cancel each other. So, 6, 7s are 42 we equate to the value of a so we get the values okay next question next part of the given question is here log with base under root 3 of a equate to log with the under root 3 of 5 plus log with the under root 3 of 8 minus log with the equate 3 of 2 so by using the above rule solution if we have log with base a of m log with base a of n apply the sum rule logarithmic property log with base make single log with a log with a common m multiple n according to this property we can uh, we can apply the first two terms of uh, the given expression so log with base under root 3 of a equate to if we uh, apply here so we make single log with base 3 5 multiple 8 because m multiply and here uh, m is 5 here n is 8 so the third uh, with some uh, subtraction symbol remains same log with base under root 3 of uh, 2 remains same so log with base under root log with under root 3 of uh, 5 8 are 40 minus log with base under root 3 of 2 so if we have uh, rough work by applying the property like here if we have log with base a of m minus log with base a of n so we can make single it log with base a common all of them so m if we have subtraction symbol so we will divide numerator divided by denominator okay so here log with base a3 means a so we will make first single log we make a common log with the base 3 here the uh, all these are common so 40 which is uh, equal to m and n is here uh, 2 so we make its division so uh, here 40 and 20 will uh, reduce each other by 20 multiple so 3 equal to 20 divided by uh, here 20 we make we get 20 so here is log with base a uh, with base 3 of a here log with base uh, under root 3 log with base under root 3 are uh, equal so uh, on the comparing properties uh, of the equation we can compare a is equal to 20 is equal to 20 which is our required answer so that is the second question of the uh, second part of the question number three
now here for next question next question we have third wise log with base here the third one is log with base um, 7 log with base 7 of r divided by log with base 7 of t equal to log with base a of r log with base a of r a for here solution here log with base 7 of r log with base 7 of t is given solution uh, here we will apply the third product rule if uh, the amounts are uh, and uh, logarithmic uh, values are in the form of a product then we can apply uh, like same since if uh, we make a uh, anti log on both sides uh, here is log t of r we will apply the third rule which will be suitable a of m log with m of n is equal to log with the a of n here we will use this rule here's uh, basis will be same so a and a are same if we multiply uh, here is multiply log with base a of m is multiply if we will divide here so we will get here i am going to use the property like this so we will get log with base a of n divided by if you multiply uh, here it is a uh, multiply so we will um, oppose we will divide the uh, um, log with base a of m on both sides so we get log with base a of uh, m here we will cancel each other so here we will make a uh, its division log with base a of n and log with base a of m if uh, uh, or we can write or we can write or we can write uh, log with base a of n log with base a of m is equal to log with base m of n so here see log with base a and log with base a so m and n will be like this m will make its uh, base and n will make its uh, position so here in our question log with base 7 of r log with base 7 of t so i'm comparing log with base a log with base a means 7 log with base a, these are 7 so we can make uh, these single uh, like that is that is t here this is t so we can make it log with base of t as is as a base and r as a amount and compare with the given value which is here log with base a of r log with base a of log with base a of r and comparing and comparing log with base t and log with base a these are opposite these are different but here log of r and log of r which amounts are equal so we can compare these bases so here t is equal to a which is our required answer okay very simple next last and fourth part of the given question mm, if we have log with base 6 of 25 minus log with base 6 of 5 so here log with the base 6 of a now here we will find the value of a it is not a value of a. it is not a 9 uh, here uh, let me write it clear that is a the value of a find the value of unknown a so solution we can write log once again 25 minus log with base 6 of 5 or log with base 6 of a okay so for getting the value of a uh, we will uh, use the logarithmic property like as we know that as log with base a of m with subtraction sign log with base a of n so we can make it log with base a log with base a single and it's here is amount m here is amount n we will make it so division uh, which is the logarithmic third property so here uh, we will make uh, same changes log with the 25 which is m uh, 5 is m uh, n and uh, log with 6 log with base 6 uh, here is a and here is a log with a, a so we will make it uh, by applying the definition by apply definition okay so log with base a will be the common 25 over 5 so and compare with the 
lag with base 6 are a and comparing further lag with base 6 and lag with base 6 uh, which are equal uh, we can cancel each other so 5 divided by 25 it means 5 times is a divide subject so five, we will get a 5 which is equal to a this will be the answer and it is the last part of the question number 3 which is uh, already clear now here the last question of this uh, portion and uh, this page this uh, exercise 3.5 uh, page 91 is uh, question number four which is very simple uh, find log with base 2 of 3 multiple like with base 3 of uh, 4 multiple log with base uh, 5 of 6 multiple log with base uh, 6 of 8 multiple will is equal to will be is equal to something uh, here uh, uh, we have as log with base third property uh, log with property log with base a of m if the amount m we will make it's a base so we can get log with base e of n by cancelling these values according to logarithmic property formula so here we will have to use a same process log with base 2 of 3 and same amount is here log with base 3 of 4 first of all we will make uh, these first two product uh, as a single like here log with base e of n so by applying uh, log with base 2 of 3 product log with base 3 of 4 log let me write once again log with base 6 log with base of 6 of 8 okay let me apply first two product uh, terms of a uh, here we can change into like this property log with base e of m here m is the amount so we can sell each other log with base e of n we get so log with 2 and log with 3 and 3 they will uh, cancel each other like in here we will not show log with base 2 of 4 we will make so they become single like this log with base 2 of 4 and the third uh, third one term which is multiply log with base 5 of 6 or uh, log with base 6 of 8 so in next step again apply log with base 2 4 and 4 uh, here uh, we will use uh, it is 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 we are uh, mm, something wrong log with base 2 of 3 log with base 3 of 4 and log with the base of 4 of 5 here log with base 4 of 5 multiply log with 5 or 6 we are getting we are uh, mistaking here uh, log with the here will be log with 4 of 5 log with 4 of 5 and then again so uh, here 4 and 4 will make a single so here is log with the 5 of 4 six okay so it will make a as a single so you will get log with the four and four will cancel so two of five we will get two of five or once again log with the base five of six and log write the above statement log with six of eight so here once again as a single so five and five will cancel so we get log with base two of is two of six and log with base six of eight once again six and six will cancel so log with base uh, we will get log with base 2 of 8 so here will be the last uh, uh, these are the last steps so which is the end of this uh, exercise if uh, also we apply the second uh, ruler so we can uh, sh uh, shrink it uh, as a uh, to find the value of unknown we can also solve it question number four we can also solve it like this mm, log with base two of three log with base three of four log with base of three of four and log with base of four of five by second method i am going to solve four log with base of 5 of 6 and log with base 6 of 7 and log with base 7 of 8. Here, first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 elements are in the products. By applying here the logarithmic properties, so we can write it like as a product log 2 of 3 and log 2 of 3 we can write uh, here uh, 3 4 circle so it's uh, this video uh, lengthen in next video i am going to solve it